Hey, it's me, Joshua. I am out here at Lead Mine Conservation Area in Missouri. Beautiful place. And I came out here for one reason this weekend. I came out here for morels. This is a morel mushroom. Unfortunately, it's the only one I've found so far besides one little dried up one. I think I came a little too late in the season. This is a morel. I'll see a couple little insects in there. We'll rinse those right out. That's going to be delicious. Morel mushrooms, the useful fungus. Um, they're valuable. They're worth, they're worth a lot to me because they're so delicious. By far, one of the best tasting mushrooms ever. Um, I got a few favorites. I like corals. I like morels, oysters, um, hedgehog mushrooms. Oh, there's a lot of gnats around my face. So, mushroom season in lead mine. Come on out. It's awesome. I found another one. A big one. Right here. And this big old guy. One thing I didn't mention before is that mushroom hunting is a very dangerous game. Oh, these bugs. If you pick the wrong mushroom, you eat it, you're dead. You know, it'll kill you. That's why I specialize in mushrooms that don't have look-alikes. Now, they, they have a false morel mushroom called the red beefsteak, but to me it does not look like a morel. It's curly and, and it's kind of got a funny looking top, but it doesn't look like a morel top like that. And the, and the red beefsteak is edible to most people, but some people have really bad allergic reactions to it, so it's considered toxic. Same with oyster mushrooms. Oyster mushrooms have no look-alike. Uh, coral mushrooms, they have no look-alikes. So if you're going to go mushroom hunting, pick mushrooms that have no look-alikes, like this one. If you are going to go mushroom hunting for other delicacies that do have look-alikes, go with an expert. Go with a, a guy that can show you. Alright, thanks for watching.